Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Susanna Brownlee Natural. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, to all of the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. I'm so excited to be with you yet again with another great video on this special day. Today, we're going to talk about, hmm, let's see, it's Mother's Day. Why not? My top five Mother's Day picks in fragrances. I'm excited to talk to you about why I chose these five and where we're going with this. So I'll see you when we get back. Welcome back. This is Leslie Suzette. I'm so excited about today's content. We're going to talk about top five fragrances that I've chosen to be some amazing Mother's Day scents that I would wear on this Mother's Day and beyond. But before we do that, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for just liking it. This channel, bottom line, one goal to inspire as many women as I can to be their most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. We talk about all things beauty, all things fragrance, and yes, all things self-care. So on that note, let's touch on a little self-care today. I've got a candle I wanted to share and, and highlight today. This one is not a Bath & Body Works candle. This one is a Goose Creek candle, ladies. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? First of all, I love polka dots. This one is Goose Creek's Pink Sugar Berry Candle. And it is gorgeous. Look at the black and white, the black polka dots on the white with that tint of pink. What better candle could I have picked for Mother's Day? Just a beautiful candle. And as soon as I open the top, there goes the scent. You all, the scent is so good. Let me see if I can describe this. Pink punch, like a pink lemonade or a pink punch with a hint of that cotton candy going on in there. It is so delightful. And it, the cotton candy has to be pink. Yes. This Goose Creek candle I got um, at a good price. They had one of their sales. And I'm telling you, sometimes they'll do buy, buy seven, get whatever free. But this one, I think I bought one, got one free and it was during the holidays. So just keep in touch with Goose Creek if you're interested in candles or you're a candle lover and you'll find a good discount, good sale. But this one is Pink Sugar Berry by Goose Creek. Beautiful. So you all, today is Mother's Day. What can I say about beautiful mothers? They love, they nurture, but at the same time, they want to be sexy too. They want to, you know, they want to, you know, be beautiful and all of you are. So I always want to just talk to you about five of my top five favorite scents to wear on this special day. Maybe you're going to brunch. Maybe you're going out tonight. I'm not sure what you're going to do, but I want you to be ready. So I just want to throw this content out real quick. Hopefully you'll watch it. If not, you'll be ready for next Mother's Day or your next little going out day. So you all, I've got to start with an honorable mention. And my honorable mention is none other than Burberry Her Elixir. Burberry Her Elixir. Why did I choose this as an honorable mention? Because I wore it today on Mother's Day. I decided that I was going to layer this one with some uh, strawberry pound cake by Bath and Body Works, put on that same lotion, some of my cocoa radiant body oil, and then wear this Burberry Her Elixir. Honey, this Burberry Her Elixir has notes of strawberry, blackberry, jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. And ladies, 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 first of all, it's the bottle for me. It's the bottle for me. Look, it's pink. It's Mother's Day. It's perfect. You all, this one is my honorable mention. It's ladylike. It's brunch time. It's date night. It's strong enough to hold at night, but it's beautiful enough to wear to brunch during the day. Burberry Her Elixir, honorable mention. Number five. Are you ready? This is my, starting with my top five, number five fragrance. For Mother's Day. You all 
heard me talk about this one. It is one of my favorites. It is Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Elizabeth Arden's green tea. Ladies, what can I say about Elizabeth Arden's green tea? I'm going to spray it first. First of all, I love the smell of tea. Okay. Green tea, Earl Grey tea, you name it. This one has notes of lemon. Yes. Bergamot, mint, orange peel, rhubarb, jasmine, oak moss, fennel, musk, carnation, and yes, green tea. You all, this is just a bright, fresh, beautiful fragrance. Um, this one is one of my favorites coming out of a nice uh, warm to cool shower. Spraying this on, you just feel refreshed. It's like a refresher. You know, they have these drinks out called refreshers now. Well, just think of spraying this on you after a nice shower and it just refreshing your body. The mint, the rhubarb, the lemon. It is just so refreshing. This one, ladies, I would definitely wear to a breakfast, brunch, or Sunday morning service. This is just delightful. It's fresh. It's beautiful. It's just elegant. And I absolutely love it. As you can see, Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea. Hello, you all. Number four. Yes, I said it. Top four. No, top five. Mother's Day fragrances, and this is number four. You all, I just had to pick this one. Let me just tell you what it is. It is Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce Garden. Dolce Garden. You all, first of all, would you look at this bottle? Look at this bottle. It speaks woman, elegance, flowery. It's just a womanly bottle. You know what I'm saying? You all, this one is so unique to me. The first time I smelled this, it was at Ulta. Yes, in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I pulled it and I was like, you know, I've been looking at these Dolce uh, and Gabbana Dolce scents, but I've never pulled them to smell them. So I pulled this one and I just sprayed it on my, I think on my hand. Spray it, this one. And when I smelled this for the first time, you all, I was like, this is so different. Let me tell you what the notes are. This has Dolce & Gabbana Garden, Magnolia, Neroli, Mandarin Orange, Coconut, Frangipani, Ylang Ylang, Sandalwood, Vanilla Absolute, and Almond Milk. Let me tell you, the first time I smelled this, I got the coconut. I got the frangipani. I got the sandalwood. I definitely got the vanilla absolute. And I definitely got the ylang ylang. The almond milk smooths it out. But this one is so unique because it's coconut spice. That's what I, when I smell this, I, I think coconut spice. Let me explain what I mean by that. It's, it's nice enough to wear in the summer on the beach, but it's spicy enough to wear to dinner and on a date night. It's nice enough to wear to brunch on a Sunday morning. It's just an all-around feminine scent. It's different, that ylang Lang and that frangipani, that almond milk, that's, all of it's just working. It's just working. It's not separate. At all, it's all coming together in this nice, sexy, tropical, yet gardeny. It's just different. And I love different. I love when I can pull out a scent and it just come out like nothing you would have ever expected. And the more it weighs on this card, you all, the better it gets. It is just sexy, seductive, yet tropical, yet green almost in a sense enough to wear up dress up or dress down that's how versatile in my opinion this one is ladies and that's why i chose it as my number four four cent for mother's day dolce and gabbana garden you all we're down to the top three 
Mother's Day scents. I'm trying to hurry so I can get this out so you all can check it out and either get ready for tonight or make a list for the future. However you want to do it, ladies, we got you covered. This is the top three Mother's Day fragrances that in my collection that I have chosen for Mother's Day. I already told you the honorable mention, Burberry Elixir Hurt, Burberry Hurt Elixir. I wore that this morning. Uh, even my God baby, who is like a college young Zeta, just a young, beautiful girl, said, oh, God, mama, you smell so good. And I was like, oh, my God, this young 20, 21 year old is telling her godmother she smells good. So that was a really good compliment. But these are the top three. You all here we go. You all knew this one was going to be in there. I don't. I mean, you shouldn't be surprised. Uh, you know, beautiful Parfums de Marley, Delina Exclusif. Delina Exclusif, Delina Exclusif. Come on, moms. I wanted to make sure that I hook you up because although you're a nurturing, beautiful mom, you are a woman. Yes, because I'm a woman. You know the rest. I wanted to hook you up. Delina Exclusive, ladies. You all know her. You all love her. You all, if you haven't sniffed her, go to the nearest. Um, you can go to Neiman's. You can go to Saks. You can go down to Jacksonville or wherever you are, wherever you live. And you can go to, what's the name of that? What is the name of Nordstrom's? And you can smell Delina Exclusive. I love the exclusive part because it is. It's exclusive. It is absolutely gorgeous. The rose for me, all three of those roses coming together. It is absolutely feminine. You all, Delina Exclusive has lychee, pear, bergamot, Turkish rose, agarwood, incense, vanilla, amber, and woody notes. Now, the Delina has those three. This one has Turkish rose, and it may have some other roses in it. But you all, it's the lychee. It's the lychee. Did I hit that? I'm sorry. I gotta take care of my microphone. It's the lychee. It's the Turkish rose. And you all, it's the it's the oud. It's the oud. I never thought that I would like oud. But when you mix it with in this Delina exclusive, you've got a winning hand. You all. This is the epitome. You always hear me say this. Don't get tired of hearing me say it. This is the epitome of womanhood. This is the epitome of a lady, a feminine, gorgeous woman. You wear this and you, I'm telling you, will get compliments. This is so beautiful, so delightful. You can wear this. It's heavy enough to wear on a date night. It's beautiful enough to wear on at church. It's gorgeous enough to wear the, to brunch. Uh, you could wear it to work, but you all, this is a special occasion for me. Weddings and Mother's Day, you all, you get this on you and you will get compliments for days. It is just gorgeous. Again, Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marley. Mm. I'm sorry. It's Mother's Day. I just had to take a sip of my caramel frappe. It is so delightful. Mm, thank you, just love. You all, I'm at number two. And Mother's Day scents, top five Mother's Day scents. I could not leave this one out. This one is very special to me. Just something about this that's girly. And sometimes we as mothers, you know, we as women, we, aunties, godmamas, you name it. We're all mothers. I love you all. Sometimes we just want to be a little girly. I mean, I'll speak for myself. I just want to be a little girly. I know I could never go back to being a teenager, but hey, I could sure smell like one. And this one gives me not only that girly vibe, but it also gives me that feminine woman vibe. It's a mixture of the two and it, they do it perfectly. And it's, you know, Parfums de Marley again, Oriana at number two, Oriana. You all, first of all, 
again, you know, you've got the, the parfums, the Marley, the Lena Exclusive, and the pink. And then you come back <laughs> with this darker pink, this fuchsia kind of color. And it is just remarkable. It's so beautiful. This one, I'm going to spray it again first. And then we're going to talk about the notes. I absolutely love the Parfums de Marley line. It's just beautiful. And you all, this one, when I think of it, my husband likes to tease me on this one. And the more he says it, I just, I'm like, ah! He says this one smells like, smells like Pepto-Bismol. You all, at first, he, it may come off as a pepto bismol type scent. But once you let it just, oh my gosh. Once you let it just dry down and, oh, it is, it's sweet. It's almost syrupy. It kind of gives me that dream cream sickle. In fact, let's, let's talk about the notes. That, that, that's, let's talk about the notes. So this is Oriana by Parfums de Marlin. And it has notes of mandarin orange, bergamot grapefruit, orange blossom, Raspberry, black currant, whipped cream, marshmallow, musk, and bread, which is musk mallow. You are Oriana. You get this orange cream sickle, marshmallowy type of scent that's just, I absolutely love it. It's sweet. Sometimes I just want to smell like a sweet treat. And when I want to smell like a sweet treat, I'm going to wear this. I am going to layer this. I don't have to, but I'm going to layer it with that. Um, what do you call that by Nest Oil? It is an orange. It's Seville orange, you all. It is an oil, perfumed oil. I am going to wear that with this. And I'm telling you, I'm going to smell so orangey, so creamy. The marshmallow brings that creaminess and it's just delightful. So mothers, I would wear this to a, a Mother's Day brunch. I would wear this even to a date night with hubby if he wants to take me out to celebrate me. I would I would do a breakfast. Yeah, I think I would be dressed up though. Um, I would do this with a breakfast. And if I if I wanted to wear like pants, I would wear some big wide leg white pants with this, maybe an orange or pink uh, blouse. I mean, that's, I can see myself as I wear this. And um, yeah, I I might wear this to work, but since it's Mother's Day, we're talking about Mother's Day going out, having a good time. I might wear this on at a nighttime, you know, going to a jazz club. It would just give you that sweet smell. And you would definitely get compliments for days on this one if worn well. Again, this is Oriana by Yes Parfums de Marley. Ladies, 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 happy Mother's Day. We are down to our number one fragrance for Mother's Day. You all, I would be remiss if I didn't make this number one. Ladies, I don't care how old you are, mom. This one is a hit. This one speaks elegance. This one speaks classy. This one speaks, I am the bomb mom, and I know this, and I'm wearing this, and I am working this today. Yes, it is your girl, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Y'all, I'm rhyming today, you all. This mother's, this ladies, this is the ultimate Mother's Day fragrance. I'm telling you, it's a classic. It is a classic. It's not that Ch Coco Chanel, like number five, which kind of can lean a little old for older women. This one can hit all moms of all ages, grandmas, aunties. Oh my goodness, God moms, mothers. This right here, <sighs> this right here. I'm gonna give the notes first on this one. Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel has notes of orange, mandarin orange, bergamot, orange blossom, Turkish rose, jasmine, mimosa, ladies, ylang ylang, patchouli, that's bring that brings that heaviness in it, white musk, vanilla, vetiver, tonka bean, and opaponax. Op 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 Don't know what that is, but it's hitting. You all, these notes for this 
beautiful fragrance. I I walked into work one day, and I usually don't wear Coco Mademoiselle to work, but I walked into work, into the break room to go use the restroom. When I came out of the restroom and walked past the lady, she was eating her lunch. She said, oh, honey, you wearing that Coco Mademoiselle. You all, it's a winner. Everybody knows this. And if you were to ask me, uh, Leslie Suzette, what is one fragrance that you would recommend that I have on my shelf? Every time I would say between Delina, Delina Exclusive, this one would definitely be on the list. Coco Mademoiselle. It would definitely be on the list. Let me let me just spray this real quick. This is just absolutely gorgeous. You all, this one, I get the ylang, ylang I get all of the oranges. All the orange blossom, the orange, the mandarin orange. It's all up in there. It's just beautiful. You get a hint of that bergamot and that jasmine. And you all, the patchouli and the white musk vanilla that comes later on to just round it out in the dry down. And you are smelling like a boss. You are smelling like a lady. You are walking into your brunch date with your mom and your grandmother and the legacy and all of the women in your family. And they are like, ooh, honey, that's got to be Coco Mademoiselle. And you have to say, yes, it is. You all. When I talk about a Mother's Day fragrance, this, my dear, is that number one fragrance. Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So you all know I cannot leave today without some words of inspiration. This one today, uh, first of all, happy Mother's Day again. This one today is for you ladies. Choose joy. I had to minister today at my local church, and it was just impressed upon my heart to share those words. Continue to choose joy. But I took and, and ran with it as God gave it to me, and I gave a math lesson today. And the title of the, the message was simply Math Lessons. James 1 and 2 says, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Mothers, I know that there have been some ups, there's been some downs, but the word of God asks us to count it all joy. So when you're counting, remember to count up the good things, but also count up the bad things as joy, because God is going to turn that thing around for you. You may be walking in disappointment right now. You may be walking in shame or fear or doubt or hurt, a disappointment. But God is saying, count it all joy because he knows the plan that he has for all of us. And he's going to take all of those disappointments, all of those things that you've ever had to go through, and he's going to turn it into joy. You're like, how in the world can he turn this disaster into joy? He's God. I've had some disappointments, some trials, some tribulations. And somehow when I looked around, God turned that hurt into joy. He's the only one that can do it. So I'm encouraging you today to just depend and trust in him. He's got your back. I love you and I wish you an amazing Mother's Day. Doesn't matter if you birthed the child or not, if you've been loving on kids, if you've been loving on people, I am shouting you out today. If you took on the responsibility of caring for someone else's child, I honor you today. If you're an auntie, I honor you today. If you're a godmama, I honor you today. If you're a grandmother, oh, we love the grandmothers. Happy Mother's Day to you all. I honor you and I thank you for all of your dedication, your support, and your love shown to the people in your family and abroad. Thank you for listening to this and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, to hit the like button, and to share with your family and friends. And what are you waiting on? Go ahead, hit that little bell. It's the notification bell. That way you'll know when Leslie Suzette is on with some more great content. Thank you. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.